Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall. We're still here in Gothway Garden. We've just joined the Mage's Guild and we're about to make some spells to uh, give ourselves a magical arsenal to start the game with because, well, the starting spells are very, very limited and uh, I need more stuff. The first thing I'm going to make is the essentials, the absolute essentials. Uh, I actually have a list of spells that I wanted to make, so let me pull that up real quick so I don't forget anything. Alright, so first order of business. Well, I guess I should kind of go over this spellmaker. If you're familiar with the Morrowind spellmaker, then this is pretty much the same thing. The UI makes it look a little bit more complex, but it's not too hard to understand. So to add a spell effect, we need to click here. And we get to choose from the list. Unlike Morrowind, we do not need to learn a spell to be able to use it in the spellmaker or enchanting. We can just pick from the entire list right off the bat. It's a little bit overpowered. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is Teleport. And we can choose an icon for it if we so desire. I like to use the... Uh... Go up. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Purple Swirly. I like that one. And uh, this column here determines what you cast it on. Uh, this is a self... I cannot pick anyone else because teleport you can only cast on yourself, thankfully. And this spell is basically mark and recall in one. I'm just going to name it teleport. What the? What the hell's going on here? For some reason, when you open uh, text, like dialogue typing prompts in this game, sometimes it adds a bunch of spaces and I don't know why. So, uh, okay. Casting cost. This is how much m spell points it's going to cost. And uh, this is how much gold it's going to cost me to make this spell. If I do something like add another effect, remove the other effect. Wait, no. Edit. Okay. That's what it was. So it would normally cost me 320, but I don't know why, for whatever reason, when you first add teleport... There's a glitch and it doesn't cost any money. <laughs> I'm totally okay with that though. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it for free. The spell has been inscribed in my grimoire and it did not cost me a dime. It normally would have cost me almost 400 gold. I know that's kind. It's kind of cheating. I don't know. I'm gonna say that Mage's Guild taught it to me. Uh, you know, on the free, just just for joining up. Okay, so that's important for me to have. I could get by without it, like I said, but since I have mysticism, I might as well just pick it up right off the bat. Okay. Next up, I'm going to do an invisibility spell. Now, all of the illusion spells, like I mentioned before, are pretty much the same thing, like shadow, uh, invisibility, chameleon. Those are all pretty much the same thing. They just... Let allow you to be undetected, but invisibility is the best one, pretty sure. And when you pick any of these, you can pick normal or true. Um, when it's normal, I think when you attack, then the effect gets dispelled. So, normal invisibility, you attack, it goes away. But if I go true, then it just stays, kind of like Chameleon in Morrowind. So I'm gonna do that, and then this is kind of a very tabletop-esque way of doing things. It took me a long time to figure out how to change these numbers, but these little top and bottom boxes above and below the numbers are actually arrows that you click to move them up and down. So the duration is in rounds, and it goes from one to one, and one per... Okay, how do I read this? The duration is one round, plus one for every one level and I can actually make this spells in this game are interesting because they scale with your level depending on what setting you put in uh, these per level fields but uh, a little trick that I do to lower the magical cost of spells like this where I don't really need it to last a long time is to just increase this so I'm really only getting one duration every two levels which decreases the power of the spell overall, but it's inconsequential for a small buff like this. 
but it makes a huge difference in the magic in the spell point cost. Look at this. It costs 50, but if I change this up one, it goes to 15. And I could keep cracking this up, but it doesn't do anything. So there you go. Default or a little invisibility for me. And I'm gonna pick my icon that I like so much. I don't know why. These arrows don't work. You have to left and right click on the actual icon to make it move. A daggerfall things. There we go. Uh, that one looks good. And I'm going to call this Fade. This is pretty much the only invisibility spell I'm going to need for the whole game, I'm pretty sure. And it's really cheap. So, awesome. I'm going to treat this pretty much as like my character's innate ability, class-wise. Not so much as a uh, magical thing. Well, it is a magical spell, but whatever, you know. I'm treating it more like my character's uh, class ability. Which, uh, I guess it already is. I just technically didn't pick Illusion as a class skill. Illusion is only 8%. But Fade only costs 15 to to uh, cast. So, yeah. And with, with Fade, I don't need Chameleon. So, I can delete Chameleon. Bye. Oh, slow falling. I can also make a better one of those. I'll delete that as well. And shock. Oh, I'm not too hot on electrical damage, but I might as well keep it around until I fill up my spell book a little bit more. All right, let's make a couple of healing spells. Heal, a health, and a magnitude. A little trick that you can do when you have a magnitude spell. One to one is the same spell bond cost as one to two. Now, if I went from one to three, it would go up. But if I did uh, one to four or possibly two to three, it stays the same. So you kind of want to get these numbers to be as high as they can be while being the same cost that you want. This is actually going to be an extremely low level healing spell. So what I'm going to do... I could change this to er, per, I could do one to two plus one to two per two levels, and that's gonna give me a, an extremely small magic cost. And I'm just gonna call this mend wounds. Very, very, very cheap, but it is going to be quite handy. Let me pick a uh, proper icon. I guess that works. So that'll be handy for Basically turning some of my Magicka into some health, because Magicka... I'm gonna keep calling it Magicka, even though it's called Spell Points. But fuck it. That's what it is. Well, before resting, I can spend my Magicka on healing my health up so that... Resting doesn't take so long. But, uh, that heal is too small to be used in battle as a, um, a quick heal, so... I'm generally gonna be using that outside of battle. Well, we're also going to do a... I need a heal fatigue spell. Because my character has problems staying awake and alert. She has very low endurance. And thus, she needs some help. So she always carries with her a boost of caffeine. When she's feeling tired and has no place to rest. There we go. That's good. Oh, my, my fatigue is quite low. Why don't we cast it? There we go. Super, super low magnitude, but uh, also super cheap to cast. And that'll raise my restoration skill by spamming it quite a bit. If you have restoration as a primary skill and you do this, Oh, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna power level it, basically, but, uh, since I don't have restoration, these are basically the only restoration spells I'm, I plan on having on this character, just a little bit of maintenance that kind of tie into my character's quirks. This is sort of like in-the-field medical without resting. I, I kind of, like, look at it that way. All right, more spells. We need some spells to help navigate dungeons. First of all, being Levitation and uh, Slow Fall. Those are always nice to have. So let's do Levitate, and I'm going to do the same little trick here. The duration 1 to 2 does not work 
like the magnitude one to two because it doesn't actually it's not one to two it's one plus one per level it's not one to something plus one to something per level it's a little different uh but we're gonna do for two levels which will half the cost nope it'll more than half the cost so you do that let me pick an icon it's good for levitate purple I'm just called levitation And bye. That's good. And now let's get slow fall. I'll do, uh... I like those blobby looking ones. Do that one. That one looks like a slow fall to me. Slow fall. One. Plus one per two levels. And, uh... Yes. That should be good. Slow fall. And one more. It's going to be a combination of water breathing. Same thing, let's make it as cheap as possible. And water walking. Now there isn't actually swift swim in this game, but water walking actually pretty much acts like that anyway. You can basically fly through water. I don't know how else to describe it. It's pretty much what happens. There we go, and we'll call this one submersion. For when I need to do some swimming. That's generally how I like to do that. What else do we need? Alright, we got teleport, fade, some med wounds, some caffeine, some levitation, slow fall, submersion. Uh, oh, we need some free action. Free action is extremely important. I probably won't uh, run into anything that can paralyze me yet. Maybe some spiders. But nevertheless, in this game, if you uh, get paralyzed, it's pretty much a death sentence. That's how long it lasts. I'm gonna make this cheap. It's already very cheap to cast. Let's see, uh, we'll do... I guess the yellow one looks fine. Just call it, uh, Freedom. That's fine with me. And... This is actually in the Restoration School, I believe. Primarily. Some spells are in... Multiple schools in this game. It's a little odd, but they're called Circinate spell schools or Circinate. I don't know. One example being free action. I think it's primarily restoration, but also partially either in thaumaturgy or alteration. I don't remember, but primarily it's restoration. I think. I'm not certain of that. This game, a lot of spell effects are in different schools than what I'm used to in Morrowind. All right, we got that. Okay, the only thing I think we need to get started is uh, a shield spell. So let's try to make a decent, cheap shield spell. I don't know how well this is going to do. Let's see. Let's see, decreasing that barely decreases the cost, so we won't bother with that. Magnitude 1 to 2 plus 1 to 2 per level. For two levels. Mm -hmm. This is going to be how much damage it absorbs. I think. Let me play around with this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we can go with this. 1 to 2 plus 2 to 3 per level. It's really low, but uh, it only costs 52 spell points, which is still quite a bit, but... This should be a decent enough shield. We'll just call this Minor Shield. And find that icon. We can change the icons later, I do believe. But I'll find something suitable right now. Yeah, this game does not have very good icon selection, but nevertheless, we'll go with this. This costs 236 gold. That one's expensive. Okay, I need some destruction spells, and then we should be good to go. Let's add uh, fire damage. Damage health, and uh, we're gonna do one to two plus. Four to five per level. One to two plus four to five per level, that's. When I make my destruction spells, I like to put most of the magnitude on uh, the, the scaling factor because I don't know, it just seems more 
efficient that way with casting cost. All right, so I'm trying to do fire damage, so I want to click this one. This is where you select uh, what element it is, if you have a uh, destruction spell anyway, or a spell that can have an element. Fire, cold, poison, shock, and magic. And then I can do area at range, area around caster, single target at range, by touch, or on self. Looks like I can't do a self-damaging spell, at least not unless I add um, something that I can actually cast on myself first, but that's besides the point. I'm just going to do fire damage on touch. A very simple fire spell. Uh, let's see what icon do I want to use. That'll work. This will be Firebite. Might as well. Okay. So let's compare this with Shock. It costs half as much. Shock does 1 to 20 magnitude plus 1 to 4 per 1 level. That's a lot of RNG. And this will do 1 to 2 plus 4 to 5 per level. So at my current level, I'm level 3. This will do 1 to 2 plus 12 to 15. So... Not as good as this, but certainly a lot less range to deal with. And as I level up, it will far surpass Shock. So I don't really think I need Shock now that I have Firebite, so we're just going to delete Shock. But I will also pick up one more spell. Just one more. And this is going to be Damage Elf. And I'm going to do... I don't know, one to two per level. Really low. This is going to be a single target at a range, though. My my first ranged spell, and I guess... Whoops, I don't need... No! Delete that. Go away. It's going to be poison damage. At range. And there should be a decent enough icon for a little... Poison orb. Where are ya? There you go. Uh... How much? Let's edit again. Because when I change from on touch to uh, at range, it's going to change the casting cost. It's really low right now. Which is good. There we go. Yeah, 1 to 2 plus 4 to 5. We'll do the same. It really only costs slightly more. Well, it says 26 here, but 39 down there. And that's because of uh, this. That's, how, that's literally my Firebite spell, but if I just make it at range, it's a little bit more. All right, we're good. that sounds good to me. This will be... Let's see, I'm really bad at coming up with names sometimes. Viper Bolt. I'm just kind of stealing, stealing names from Morrow in here, but... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of fitting, seeing as how I'm a Dark Elf. And there goes all of my gold. All right, we are down to 122 gold pieces, and we all, we have a basically full arsenal of mostly utility spells. I've never had a shield spell before. Let's try it out. Hooray! Huzzah! We're ready. Ready to do some adventuring. All right. How do I get out of here? This guild is big, so I can ask him for quests, but I don't want to do any quests for the guilds just yet. Let's see, I think I just used... Oh, I have barely enough to cast a teleport. So let's set an anchor here. And I'm going to head back to my inn. I don't remember which inn I was at. I think it was, yeah, Toad and Goat down there. At night, inns are like the only things that are open. I guess now's a good time to ride on my horse. Yes, there's no traveling like a horse traveling. Through the water, who cares? I think that's water. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, all right. Let's let's rest up, man.
Ah, that's better. Let's see. Uh, stuck deep inside this inn. There we go. Must be early. Yes, very early in the morning. At dawn. Dawn sky. Sun's about to come up. Well, all right, everybody. We have uh, rested up after our foray into Privateer's Hold. We are in Gothway Garden. And, uh, well... Renny realizes she got this letter from the courier, but she hasn't bothered to read it yet. Perhaps we will do that next time. Before heading off on an adventure. Well, until then, take care, everybody.